What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube, K-Lump, Lumpkin and Electronics Virtual Escape Room. Hey, mash that like button. It's free. Hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. Share the content, comment. We love it. Come out and celebrate, man. Celebrate with us over here at Lumpkin Electronics Escape Room. Bring the balloons, bring the kids, bring the cake. Come put the kids in the escape room. Let them have some fun. Virtual reality escape room. We're going to have uh, an Xbox or a PlayStation over there for the kids who waiting to get into the escape room to play while they're sitting and waiting free of charge. How about that? Yeah. We got a doozy here. We're going to break it down. Road rage, people. Hey, y'all might need to be careful on, on those roads. As we see, going to AutoZone is dangerous. Going to O'Reilly's. You could possibly get your ass shot. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all didn't know that. Y'all need to check out the other videos. What else we talking about here? Look at this guy. He's ready to go. Got that pistol on his lap. Let's see if he executed this the correct way. Shout out to the news media organization that aired this. We appreciate you for doing it. That's why we're reacting to it. Let's roll. It's the heart-stopping moment shots ring out on a busy Miami highway. Video of the dangerous road rage incident was just released to the public. The video starts with Eric Popper, a civilian fire... Okay, we got his name. Mr. Eric Popper. It's a road rage incident, Mr. Popper. Let's see what you were thinking of. Are you justified? Inspector looking relaxed and singing next okay. police okay he was dead okay this inside edition shout out to inside edition thank you for putting this out we appreciate y'all because we're reacting to it let's go say the 30 year old cuts off another car oh my God. you can hear the other driver honking his horn okay okay hold on uh, hold on uh, no, let's play let's play Popper glares at the rear view. okay let's let's see so Mr. Popper is driving down the street. Singing this shit. All of a sudden he goes to make it. Get into the left hand like Cut somebody off. That car honks. Beep. Come on, man. You in my way. What does he do? Mr. Popper slams on the brakes. Eat my brake dust. Let's keep going. View mirror. He says the other driver is tailgating. Okay. Making obscene hand gesture. So the other driver is like. That's all. Cut me off, man. In the road, man. That's it, man. Let's keep going. Moments later, Popper opens his center console and carefully removes a handgun. Okay. Okay. So, in his head, he like, oh, this dude want problems with me, huh? Move the towel over. This is what the district attorney gonna be talking about if this ain't justified. Uh, <laughs> and he opened and he grabbed that dial out the center council. See what happens. When the other vehicle pulls up, Popper opens fire. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. Okay, wait a minute. The person pull up to say, hey man, you cut me off? Why did the person pull up? Let me go back. A dude, dude, his hand out the window. I don't see any weapon in his hand, y'all. Again, it's blurry. It's blurry. But I don't see a firearm. He probably tell him. But look at this guy. He looking him right in the eyes. People crazy out here, y'all. He clearly see the dude don't got no gun because he's looking right. And look at look at Mr. Popper's eyes. He looking right at him. Looking right at his eyes. Then he goes to fire a shot. Let's keep going. Now, I am confused here. Because it looked like he can't even handle that little small handgun. Anybody else seeing this? Y'all not see, y'all don't even uh, y'all don't even y'all don't y'all don't even agree with me what I'm talking about. He looked like he like yeah, oh, oh, oh he can't even keep the gun straight. We got a man here who cut somebody off on the road, upset that the person upset that he cut him off on the road. Then he get the fire shots from inside his car. Cops say he fired 11 times. If he fired 11 shots, y'all. 
Nobody shot at him once. He fired Mr. Popper. You fired 11 bullets and you did it wreck. Look, look, look how you look. If you look closely, you can see the other driver apparently throwing a water bottle at the car. He, what you thought it was a grenade? That's what you're going to say? I was in fear for my life because I thought he was throwing a grenade at my vehicle. He threw a water bottle. You throwing shots down range. Here's a question. You on a highway. Where did those bullets go? Did they hit that other person who threw a water bottle at your car? Or could they have hit a, 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 a mom driving down the street with her kids in the car? Or, or, or the kid driving on, on a highway? Here I am on a highway with my ch beautiful children in my back seat, driving, da, 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 trying to go get ice cream from Baskin and Robbins. And here you got Mr. Popper popping off rounds on the highway through his windshield. Popper says he thought he was being fired upon and was acting in self-defense. You you thought you were being fired upon? Well, and he was acting in self-defense. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that self def He was acting in self-defense. Let's go back in the video. Let's see, Mr. Popper. We heard your claims. We heard your claims, Mr. Popper. You was, you, you was offending yourself. You was afraid of your life. Let's see. In self-defense. Right there. Right there. You see, this, let, let's let's break it down on how they're going to break it down in the courtroom. Let's break it down. I, I'm not your attorney right now. If you want, I'm going to jump on your side in a minute. I'm not your attorney. I'm, 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 I'm the DA. I'm in the courtroom. I got the jury right here. And I'm showing them right now, right here, this, this picture right here. This is what sink you right here. Not even the fact that you pulled the gun out. None of that. This is what sink you right here. The fact that you already got the gun pointed and ready to go before the car even get to you. What are you defending yourself from right now? You already got the gun in the go position. You already ready to fire. But let's keep going. You said self-defense. Okay. Okay. Let's say dude threw the water bottle. Dude threw the water bottle. You thought it was a gun. It bounced off. You fired first two shots. What's the rest of the shot? What you defending yourself from now? Why are you down in the seat like this? And you on the highway. What? You still shooting. You still shooting. You, I, I didn't see your hand jump so many... Bah, you, you, you shooting everywhere. You shooting the whole highway up. Here's a question. Defense. This, this is, this is the, if I'm the defense attorney, this is what I'm going to ask the jury. Mr. Popper and the alleged uh, victim of this incident was driving at this speed. Could Mr. Popper, when somebody came to his right-hand side, let me, let me show you all how actions lead to your destruction. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to give it to you right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go back. Moment shots ring out on a busy Miami highway. Hold on. Hold on. That ain't it. You can hear the other driver honking his horn. Popper glare. Slammed on his brakes. If you can slam on your brakes in order to teach somebody a lesson right then, why can't you slam on your brakes when he was driving by you? Woo! And let him keep going. Then you get behind him. Get up, get out of danger. Why didn't you try to avoid danger? You didn't. You didn't try to avoid it. You were the uh, uh, manipulator of it. You did something wrong on the road. Somebody honked at you. You cut him off. You was wrong, bro. You was just going about your day singing. And then you cut him off. And he honking at you and they mad because you cut him off. You're not even looking. You probably didn't even look. Let's see. For honking his horn. Popper glares at the rearview mirror. He says the other driver is tailgating and making obscene hand gestures. Moments later, Popper opens his center console and carefully removes a handgun. When the other vehicle pulls up, Popper opens fire. Okay. Cops say he fired 11 times. If you look closely, you can see the other driver apparently throwing a water bottle at the car. Popper says he thought he was being fired upon and was acting 
in self-defense. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna just let that sit there. They the ones who gave us a video. Shout out to Inside Edition for that uh, nice narrating. That was crazy, y'all. Let's let, We gotta go back to that man's face, though. We got to. We gotta go back to the fuckery. There's the fuckery right there, y'all. There it is right there. Just look at it. This man popping off on the highway. Road rage, talking about self-defense. He was defending himself. <laughs> you can't make this. He was defending. Everybody defended themselves nowadays. He literally just got the busting off on the highway, right through his windshield. He tried no defensive driving techniques. Techniques. He tried not to, you know, let me just get off the highway, man. This dude's crazy. He tripping. Why is it that today we want to engage with everybody? Why don't nobody ever want to get away? I'm, I'm confused at that. Why don't it never, nobody ever want to get away nowadays? Everybody wants to engage. I want to stand here in the middle of the shit, and I either want to shoot at people, or I want to record people getting shot at. It's interesting. What y'all think? What y'all thoughts? Thoughts, comments, concerns? What y'all think about this? Y'all think he was justified? That's what I want to know. Who think he was justified? If you think he was justified in doing what he did, let me know why. Tell me why. I'm going to follow up on this story because I want to see what happened to him. I'm going to see if he got any, uh, what charges he got and everything. I'm going to definitely follow up on this one because this, ooh, wait, this, was a, this was a mess right here. This could have went so many different ways and wrong, even though it's already went wrong. It's crazy. Prosecutor going to have an easy time. I'm talking about easy time. Easy time. In the courtroom with this one. I'm sorry, Mr. Popper. I'm sorry. If, the, if I was the prosecutor, I would eat you alive with these videos. Eat you alive with these videos. This, These videos is your downfall. And you driving down the street. You not looking at nothing. You just firing off. I want to just play it one more time just, just to see him. Look, look at him. Get back. Yeah. Look at him, he like this. Eh, eh, eh. Grand Theft Auto over here, baby. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Come on and holler at me, man. Lumpkin Electronics Virtual Escape Room. Come play the games, man. Listen, listen, listen to me carefully. Be right here. Be right here with me. Right here in the mic. I'm close to it. Don't be driving down the highway, popping off rounds at people. Come here to Lumpkin Electronics Virtual Escape Room. If you want this type of reality, I can give it to you right here in a safe space where once you're done, where once you're done, guess what happens? You had an enjoyable experience. You didn't catch a body. And guess what? No charges filed. See what I mean? You can take your anger out on all of the characters in the video game. You can become in. You want to be an assassin? I can make you an assassin. Right in virtual reality. Y'all have a good day. Peace.